you know, sometimes I uh, wake up and I say, today I'm going to write another chapter, a small chapter, my small little chapter uh, in the history uh, of Israel in the, uh, with the UAE, uh, the history of Israel in the, in the region. Welcome to Connecting Minds at the Columbia Pavilion. Today I have a very special guest, a dear friend since uh, Expo Milan 2015, Elazar Cohen, Commissioner General of the Israeli Pavilion. Elazar, thank you very much for being here with us at the Columbia Pavilion, talking about connecting minds and our Expo experiences. First of all, thank you very much, Juan, <laughs> for inviting me. I'm really privileged and honored uh, to be uh, here uh, with you in this special uh, uh, program. In, uh, in Expo Milan, given that it was uh, food and energy for life, I recall that your pavilion was, uh, it was truly a showcase and everybody was amazed to, uh, you know, to truly found out that Israel had been, you know, had invented so many wonderful things. I, you know, I, I don't think that many people knew about all the wonders that have been created in your country. Well, first of all, uh, every country is a unique country. Mm -hmm. Israel is a, is a special case. Unfortunately, is not blessed with um, uh, natural resources. Only recently we discovered the gas and oil uh, offshore uh, the coast of uh, Israel, but in general we are quite limited with um, uh, space, with water. So the only resource, only natural resource that we uh, have and we developed, we invested a lot, is our human resource. Israel is investing a lot in education, investing a lot in academy, investing a lot in technology. And the outcome is uh, that uh, today we have uh, an econo uh, economy based on innovation, uh, and uh, high-tech. Mm -hmm. uh, so we invented the uh, drip irrigation. Why? Because we did not have uh, enough uh, water in Israel. So we had to feed our people yeah. with less money, with less land. So we had to develop technology in order to bridge this gap and to produce more from less. Mm -hmm. So this is what um, strives us and pushes us uh, forward in order to uh, bring technology almost into any sector uh, in, uh, in our life, and uh, these technologies are today uh, happily um, uh, deployed all over the world. You know, as, as I listen to you and I, and I remember meeting uh, the, precisely the, the, the inventor of the drip irrigation, that sounds very sophisticated. Why is our expos important to a, a country as, as uh, grandiose and as technology-driven as Israel? Every uh, expedition has its own uh, objective uh, for any country and uh, Israel uh, uh, included. I think that in general, um, the Expo is, a, is an excellent platform to present uh, the values, uh, the culture, uh, the heritage of every uh, country. Uh, today, even though we are living in an in information uh, era, uh, there is still a kind of ignorance among uh, people, maybe because of the uh, there's too much information mm -hmm. arriving uh, to our screens, to our ears, to our uh, eyes. So events like the Expo can uh, present uh, your country directly with no uh, other means, purely directly. It is important to maintain such, uh, such big events, uh, not to fight, but to join uh, to the uh, data and information uh, area that we are uh, living. Also, these physical uh, events are extremely uh, important. You've done a, a wonderful world, you know, showing that, you know, that Israel is a friend of the world and that you can do it here. So you would say that, uh, you would say that it's, uh, it's been a successful expo and that it was the right decision to participate? Uh, it is uh, definitely was a good decision to participate. It was a, a great opportunity to get the invitation. Uh, I think um, that I don't want to, to, to uh, uh, witness on myself, but uh, my staff is doing a great uh, job in all uh, sectors, both in terms of the uh, um, visitor center that we uh, uh, created. And in this uh, occasion, I would like to uh, say a good word about your pavilion. So we are keeping doing uh, uh, a lot of work uh, to uh, a targeted uh, audience in all sectors of life. As I said, culture, economy, uh, academy, uh, investments, uh, tourism, and so on and so forth. As always, when I see you and when I meet with you, I, uh, I have only words of, uh, of gratitude Thank for you, you coming you to much. here, you know, to, to talk to us at the, uh, at the Columbia Pavilion. I would like both of us to be in Osaka 2025. Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.